Stitch Lifers, it's Dana. It is time for the Stitch Life Family Happy Hour. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody tonight? Good. Good. <laughs> the enthusiasm is so <laughs> underwhelming. Thank you guys. Appreciate that. <laughs> we live to serve. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. I already uh, lost a state of loss. <laughs> you lost a state of loss. <laughs> what is on your shirt, Julie? It's a uh, Tabasco. Tabasco. That's <laughs> like, what I thought, but I was like, what is that? And before I look funny in the camera the whole show, I thought I'd <laughs> ask you to get that out of the way. <laughs> in the women's department at Target. So this one's from the men's because patriarchy. <laughs> they have better t-shirts. Why is that? Like women end up with like know. flowers and crazy crap. And then the guy go to the guy's department. It's like. Ooh, free for all. These are all kinds of snarky shirts. I know. And they're like, I'm like, NASA and they're cheaper. Mm -hmm. The t-shirts, cheaper and cuter in the men's department. Star Wars t-shirts, cheaper and cuter in the men's department, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. I don't need rainbows and flowers and hearts on everything that I buy just because I've got boobs. So, you know, <laughs> that's just kind of how I roll. Okay. Sorry. What? <laughs> we're starting off a little funny tonight a little spirited we are spirited makes up for the lack of enthusiasm for the hello <laughs> uh, so tell me everyone about your best thing Kat what's your best thing for the week okay so it's not stitch related but I have been looking I have to take paper lists to the grocery store I can't put it on my phone it drives me crazy I can't pull my phone out every five minutes so I like to have notepads but ones that stick to the fridge with the magnet apparently nobody wants to sell those anymore and it was driving me crazy and then i went to michael's and i managed to find a pack of three of them ones on my fridge right now and i was like oh i might have christmas lists up there all year but these are the first ones i've found in months and i'm just like fine it'll be christmas forever i don't care <laughs> you know what that works Very oddly specific thing but it, it was bothering me oh, oh. you know what we're all about solutions here at Stitch Life, so well done. Clay, you can go to Kinko's and have those made, by the way. Can they you? also have them at the Dollar Tree. That's where I Yeah, or the Dollar Tree. We don't have a Kinko's. <laughs> you have a Dollar Tree? Yeah. I used to be able to find them in Target in like the dollar section, but they're never in there anymore, at least here. Stupid family. Kids are in Florida. <laughs> Salty tonight, huh? <laughs> there they are. They are I extra like salty. Where are all the salts coming from? Um, Mr. Clay, what about this you? It's my best new thing. My friend oh, Rebecca hey. made it and sent it to me. Is it crochet? That is so it cute. Is. Isn't yeah. that adorable? Aww. I love it. Look. I love baby Yoda so much. Oh, yep. my anniversary gift for my husband. So it's going right here from now on. <laughs> Have you started watching the new season? I watched the first episode. I haven't watched the second one yet, but yeah. I know that he is now the bounty and no longer the child. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, they changed all of the merchandise from now on to say the bounty. So okay. we shall see. <laughs> Whatever, we're gonna call him Baby Yoda. <laughs> right, always. He'll the baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Uh, the second yeah. episode's pretty cute. When I see a real Yoda, like a proper, I'm just like, wait, is that baby Yoda? Is that, that just Yoda? So right. I'm all confused now, but that doesn't take much. So, <clears throat> Julie, what about you? What's your, your best thing of the week? My best thing of the week is a uh, also a toy, which is hilarious. Um, it's this Wonder Woman right here. Wonder Woman. I'm a big fan of all things Wonder Woman. I have quite the collection of Wonder Woman uh, accoutrement. And especially I love the Linda Carter um, 70s Wonder Woman. Yeah. And that's what this is. And my husband got this for me. He ordered it for me months ago. And it was back ordered and on, you know, pandemic slow boat from China or whatever. And it took forever and he forgot that he had ordered it it took so long and he never told me about it and then it just arrived um the other day and I was so excited and I just love her so I've actually I brought her in here so we could have have her with us tonight but I've been keeping her on my um 
desk where I work. So she hangs out with me at work all day. She's beautiful. It's my best thing. And she is from, I kept the thingy so I could say where she came from, Diamond Select Toys. They have a whole bunch of other licensed stuff. Yeah. Oh. If you're into that. We lost you there for a second. I'm sorry. I said, if you're into that kind of stuff, like if you're a collector of, of figurines and things, this is a really well done one. It's very nice. Very, right. very detailed. That's my, my favorite. Thing. Go the other way and I do the Funkos and I'm looking for the, the old um, Alex Trebek one. I have the new one without the mustache, but I want the 80s version. <laughs> I saw it on Amazon for $250. Whoa. Oh. Wait until yeah. Yeah. all that passes. So. so, so it's like the Beanie Babies. No one cares anymore. <laughs> well, no, it's it's that he just passed. So everyone's trying oh, to everybody's yeah. Capitalize on you know any image of him. So. That's true. Remind me at some point, Cat, to tell you about the Beanie Babies and my mother. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's definitely worthy it may not be my best thing <laughs> now i kind of want to hear it because my one of my friends had a mother who collected beanie babies that she was going to give her, her to her daughter my friend when she got married and it was going to be like her dowry because it was going to be her dowry. <laughs> she's she's got to be friends with my mother's secretary who was buying them and storing them under her bed in those plastic little coffins. Oh yeah. <laughs> because that was her retirement fund. <laughs> <That's> uh. <laughs> wow. I'm guessing yep. she's retired. You'd be yeah, amazing. She had people all in the that. little plastic coffins and you could, yeah. Cause I don't know what else to call mm. them, but the yeah. little plastic boxes and they look like little coffins. That's so sad. Display well, cases. What, display cases? Display <laughs> cases of death. Oh, I like plastic coffins. That's what they are. <laughs> they are. Because it's where things go to die. I mean, because you forget about them and then they're under your bed. These little plastic coffins. Okay, well, now I want to know what your real, <laughs> your real best thing is, Kelly. <laughs> it's been a week. You <laughs> um, so my real best thing, I have to say for a haul, but my other best thing is that my son got his COVID test back yesterday and he's negative. Yay! So, Yay! Awesome. Yeah, they are now up to 20 kids between his the lab, oh. one lab class and the band class that he's in. Oh, man. Gosh. So, is, are you guys still quarantined or isolated or? Um, so I actually drove to my office yesterday. I needed to get out of the house. Um, and I needed to handle a couple of things for clients. <laughs> Um, other than that, we had been kind of staying in, so yeah. we're released. I can go out and go grocery shopping and stuff. <laughs> um, so I, I did do that. Okay. I went and got some things, but, um, yeah, we're, I'm still like, he's going to be virtual the rest of the semester and probably even in this next semester, they'll gotcha. be virtual. So you're still going to have to listen to him practice the French horn. Yes. The but it's not the carpenters. So the whole time I've been thinking it's the carpenters, it's not. It's Barbara Streisand, yeah. the way we were. Who knew? <laughs> I don't know if that's an improvement. <laughs> I can't believe that Clay didn't help you. So, you know, being the musical. So that's why it's not my next best or the new best thing, because I'm really good at hit talk. Man, they're incredible. Carpenter, man. Yes, but not on a French horn no. at 1230 in the morning. That's the expression of a carpenter song, or the way we were to do that for that matter. But you know, different strokes. Hi, Miss Kim. Hello, hello. Tell me about your best thing. So my best thing is, which I actually told you guys about kind of already, but I decided to inventory my flaws. I have a problem. <laughs> I have a big problem. Um 864, which actually I've knocked some of that down, or actually I have more to add to that because I went to the store today um, to get some floss that I needed for a project. And some of those were ones that I needed um, that I was missing off of my, my list of a hundred. I am down to, this is my wonderful list of everything that I need. And as I get, I'm going to mark off. 
because that way I can keep up with it and I can I can leave this and I, I took a picture of it <laughs> so I can see exactly what I have. Um, and I put it in a spreadsheet because I'm a spreadsheet kind of girl. It is what it I is. Counting, so. I haven't started with any of my my specialty floss or metallics or anything, you know, a toile, anything like that. That's just DMC. So it's, it, it was really cool because when I was going to look to see if I had something, I could go straight to my list and it's like, oh, I have it. I don't, I may not have it uh, bobbinated yet. Um, I have a whole huge bag that needs to be bobbinated. I thought I only had like maybe 20 or 30. Yeah, I got a lot more than that that needs to be bobbinated, but it is on my list. So it's already counted. Well, so good. I'm good. So you're excited. Who else is a bobbinator? Have we had this conversation? Before? I am. Yeah. Bobbinator? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a drill. It's awesome. So many bobbins. I saw somebody do their Dremel the other day. See that? I've seen people also do their um, sewing yeah. machine. Oh, so I'm gonna. I want to figure out the Dremel thing for the next time that I get some. I took one of the little manual bobbin winders mm -hmm. and I took it off and put it in my drill. And so you just mm -hmm. pop this little puppy out, put in your uh, your guy, and go go to town except this is a really old drill and my battery dies oh. quickly so santa is supposed to be bringing me a new drill for christmas i so we'll have to admit that the terminology you were using could be interchangeable for other yes, electric things and it was confusing me for a second i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it goes back to being a little salty today um so let me just take the, you know, the IQ level down a few pegs. So, um, so my best thing is I went to my husband and I for our, we have sun dates, which is our Sunday date days. And we went to Burns and Noble where I got a stash of magazines because as you might imagine from someone who founded a magazine, I have a bit of a magazine problem. So, um, there were some new ones that I hadn't seen before. I'm sure that there are ones that I already have that maybe I bought second. So this is Love Embroidery. Um, it's obviously focused on embroidery, but um, has some really good tips and tricks and ideas and stuff. And most of these come with little tchotchkes. So this came with little transfers for embroidery patterns. Molly Makes is one of my favorite magazines because it has a good span of different types of crafting. Um, they do have a lot of, it's sewing, it's crochet, it's needle felting. Um, and then they often have um, really interesting projects. This is a little um, crochet wall hanging. And then they give you the, the needle to get the hook to go with it. Um, I'm trying to get back into lettering and so I found these cool lettering magazines. Um, if any, anyone is having a wedding anytime soon, I have an inspiration book. Um, I'm out of the market myself, but, and then um, a magazine called Mindful Crafting, which I thought was really cool. And it talks about, well, as you can imagine, mindful crafting, um, but it's talking about things like, you know, how to enjoy it more and not make it a chore, um, which I think is really interesting because sometimes, in, especially in this world of Etsy and websites and Instagram, everyone's like, you know, make your art a side hustle. And sometimes people lose their, the joy of it. Um, so it's just, and it's tips to like open up your creativity and that kind of stuff. And then the last one I found was um, be creative which is a cross between all kinds of needle craft, embroidery, and textile arts. Um, which, you know, it's very rare to find a good catch-all um, crafting magazine, especially if you're into cross-stitch, because usually it's embroidery or quilting or crochet or knitting. And um, if your vibe isn't necessarily the type of projects that you may see in other mainstream cross-stitch magazines, um, you don't often find something, at least in my opinion, you don't often find something that is a good fit for your style, your vibe, and what you're looking for. So this one actually is pretty interesting. Um, they do have things that it really does focus a lot on embroidery, but it's still 
a very nice magazine. And most of these, yeah, I think all of them are UK magazines, of course, because they're the only country that produces decent content other than Stitch Life, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so let's talk whips. Um, since I'm already talking, I'll just keep talking. I am, as, as I promised last week, I'm working on the um, Historical Needle Company's Snowman Stitch Along. Um, so this is panel one in the upper left corner. Sorry, I don't know my life, left from my right. Um, and this is gonna be like a little topiary with a bird on top. So, so this is my only whip right now because I realized I really need to focus on one and not the 45,000 that I have kitted up. So. Um, Clay, what do you have going on? World of Warcraft. <laughs> It's the Night Elf Crest by Nonstop Cross Stitch. Um, got a little bit done this past week. I've mostly been working on this new project for Stitch Life called Mystery Music Monday. Um, so I am going to fill a wall in my office with songs and lyrics that have meant something to me in my life. And I thought it would be cool to have people guess as I stitch it. So kind of think of Will of Fortune making a new word or a new letter each Monday. So we started this week um, and this is what I've got so far. Um, so there's a little extra sneak peek. I have been trying to figure this out. I have been scouring my brain for any song that started with a Y. Yep. Oh my God, the, the guesses have been fantastic. Yay. So are you, it. Though. Uh, are you telling people the genre of music? No. No, not even not even that kind of hint? But you get a sneak peek of the apostrophe. We just had Y and O on the Facebook page. So, so yeah, this is a, this is a major. I'm, so I'm going to guess that it's you're the one I want from Greece, because that's just a phenomenal set of lyrics. That is fantastic. Wow. That's a good guess, though. Yeah. I was going to guess well, you're always yeah. on my mind. Oh, that's a good one, too. Yeah. See, great guesses. Because yep. now with I know you liked my guess yep. when it was just, oh, oh. I was going to say, I know you liked my guess when it was just the YO as Yo Ho Ho and a Ball of Drum. Because, yeah. you know, we're going <laughs> to have so vain. Yeah. You are so vain would be a good one. That was a guess on, on Facebook. Um, I love that song so much. I, this might be giving it away. So, Clay might beat me over the head with his hoop, but um, it's a song for a commercial right now. Oh, yeah, it is. Yep. Yeah, I don't have regular TV. I don't watch commercials. Me neither. That's what I have a, I get to fast yeah, forward past all that stuff. It's a beautiful song, too. It like is. It's so pretty. And, um, so it, it has to do with when I marched to drum corps. I can't tell you anything else because if there are any drum corps international fans, they may know, but that's what it is. I, I'm terrible at Wheel of Fortune, so I'm just probably not okay. the Barbara Streisand song that my son is playing. So I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Um, and that's it for whips this week. Okay. Yeah. So I have a guess of what cat's whip is. <laughs> is it Bill? <laughs> Bill, this head, this melon head. <laughs> but I have made a lot of progress. I'm almost on to page three, which is only like 30 stitches wide as opposed to my first two pages, which are like 60. So <laughs> that'll go faster. Nice. Did you say you're stitching the white too? Yeah. Oh. I didn't, I didn't like it when it wasn't stitched. <laughs> Kelly, so don't shake your head and that shit. <laughs> we know you do, hand so sampler. It's yeah, I don't stitch thing. white on white. I don't do black on black either. I, got I don't do white on white unless it's like in the middle of something and you can see like the, the texture difference, you know? Well, that's what you she's know. got going on there. <laughs> I figured since I'm doing the all of the background and everything else, it would look weird if just mm -hmm. that one part wasn't stitched since it's like the rest of it's full coverage. I tried leaving it out and I'm like, nah, I don't like it. I remember seeing, and when you're talking about not doing black on black, I did see one 
and I'm going to have to dig and find it, but it was black Ada and they had done um, black trees, like pine trees and done little French knots for stars. It was gorgeous. And it was with that black on black, it looked amazing. But yeah, I, that would just make me want to gouge my eyeballs out to try to do that. But it was, it was, I appreciate the work and the, the effect, but. Yeah, wow. white's, white's one thing. Black <laughs> fabric is totally. <laughs> yeah, it is. Definitely. I have a tip for stitching on black. It's called a light board. Mm -hmm. you can get them for 20 bucks on Amazon. Put it in your lap. In the closet over there, I would grab it. It's just a really thin, like, board that lights up. And you just set it under you, and you can see every single hole. Makes yep. it so much easier. My cricket, um, my cricket light thingy. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, y'all are fancy. I just throw a white dish towel in my lap. It works just fine, well, <laughs> and it's free. That seems a lot more practical than. <laughs> I had the light board from Cricut stuff, so. <laughs> well, since you're putting us in our place, Julie, what are you working on? Oh, well, if it makes you feel any better, I just realized that I did a whole bunch of the wrong thread. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I was supposed to do 704, but I have two skeins, both labeled 703. And also, look how different they look. This one's very old and this one's new. Yeah. But I was supposed to stitch in 704, so now I have to rip out about 30 stitches. No more than that. Anyway, um, what am I working on? I have four, well, three whips and one start, I guess. So I um, I mentioned this one a couple weeks ago, but I hadn't picked it up until this weekend again. So I'll, I'll go ahead and update it. This is a needle workshop by Jan Lynn. This is a vintage out of print um, chart from Jan Lynn. And I'm stitching it uh, over one, one over one on 25 count. So it's super tiny. And I did, this is all white on white right here. Speaking of white on white. But it's going to be it's going to be a thing it's going to be like a lace tablecloth anyway i don't know i've really been enjoying this it's tiny and it's challenging but i i love watching the little details come out as i work it so Great. then i uh where's my here's my carolyn manning peridot i have um been working on this one and I love this one because it's super easy and fast. It's a nice break from the one over one, over one 25 count Lagana. So this is um, 18 count white Ada and I'm stitching it in the call for DMC two threads. So I've got really, because it's two threads on 18 count, it's really nice coverage. I mean, this is the one that I had the skein that I was working on this dark green right here an hour ago. And now I don't know where it is, but it can't go far, right? It's, Kelly <laughs> found hers folded up with clothes, I think, if that, if I recall correctly. Uh, uh, it's probably in on my couch because that's where I was stitching with that a little while ago. So, uh, and then of course, pandemic. She's always with me. Uh, this week, I did some of the backstitch detail. Like, there's some striping in here that's backstitched, and the little like antenna on these little tiny butterflies. This little flowery bit is backstitched. I did a little bit more of these gold doodads. I'm almost out of this gold cranic. Like I don't have enough to finish the little doodads. And there's a huge gold flower right here that I'm gonna do in gold. So I've ordered some more um, gold cranic, but. So pretty. Anyway, and this is on a 32 count white Belfast linen with the DMC variegated thread. So, Are you doing two so, over two for that one? Uh, yes, yes. Nice. Those are my whips. Sweet. Kim, what about you? Well, I am uh, working on, I got a little bit further on my skeptic sampler. Nice. So I did get the uh, sodium dioxide little molecule here, the SiO10 or SiO2. Um, and I actually have some completed people. So um, yes. our little guy, we have uh, Mary Curie, um, Darwin, and then Einstein. And I love his hair. I don't know if you can see him. I kind of did this, his little wiggly hairs. Um, so it's coming together. It's getting there a little bit, but a little bit more. I have, I haven't been able to be brave enough to start any more on the uh, evolution of man. And I have made some really good progress on fearless. We've got some oh, color wow. in. That's looking so really it's really coming together. Excuse my threads up there. So 
um, we're getting it in there. It, it was actually, it was going really well. And um, my shoulder being out of whack, I'll tell you, I was really glad about my stand because I got it finagled just right in my lap and I had my arm propped up and I was just stitching away watching TV. So nice. but those are the only two I'm working on right now. I'm trying to focus on getting those, especially fearless. I'm trying to get it done um, and make some more headway on the other, but I'm going to be starting another one here soon. Mm-hmm. It's part of part of my my uh, my haul. Oh, your haul. Okay. Um, Kelly, tell me about your your whips. I'm sorry, my dogs are playing tag in my house, and I did not catch. <laughs> I'm like watching a hundred pound dog running <laughs> and playing tag with a twenty pound wiener dog. Oh my God. I can hear their little paws on the floor. That's awesome. Oh, welcome to my crazy life. Today. <laughs> hey, that's what makes life fun. That kind of crazy shit. Yeah. So your whips. My whips. Okay. So I am the lazy stitcher apparently because I only have two that I actually pulled out. Um, I have been desperately trying to finish our sale. Oh, and that looks oh, so wow. Nice. That looks awesome. Mm-hmm. I thought I'd be done. I am oh, not done. Bitch, <laughs> what yeah. fabric are you using, Kelly? Just a white 14 count Ada. I mean, so that way I didn't have to fill in the white. Word. <laughs> yes. Yep. I'm totally lazy. Oh, that's what I was doing. No, that's yeah. efficient. That's efficient. That's not lazy. Yeah. I can't even imagine doing that. Um, I'm sure it would be beautiful. But life is short and I have other things I want to do. <laughs> so what else do you have to on? Okay, so the other thing, I thought this would be done because I didn't think the cell would take that long. And I'm desperately trying to catch up my cells. And this one is actually over. Um, yeah. It is the Halloween stitch atomy cell. Um, so I got the tree in for my Oh, that's a cool tree. And then the little cute little kitty. Um, and then I have the, somebody charted in the group, the little, the Sanderson sisters from Hocus Pocus. So I'm going to pop them in these three frames down here. Sweet. So I have the first one's hair in. That's it. Cool. What about any starts? Or sorry, finishes. I, Let's talk finishes before we talk, stop. Starts. I don't have one. Starts. I was Not, lazy. That's okay. I didn't have any last week. I have an FFO. <laughs> you do? Uh, is so off. from Tiny Modernist. Words to Live By. It's just one of the little sections that I just popped in a little mm-hmm. color store frame. So Very cute. That was, Super cute. Very cute. Yeah, it's just done on okay. um, thread that I had in my stash. So, And it says today is a good day to have a good day. And I thought with the week we've had, I should put it on my wall. <laughs> Amen, brother. Understandable. Julie, what about you? Any finishes this week? Uh, no, I didn't finish nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We're all slacking. What about you, Cam? <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> There's no way. I'm a total slacker and I know it. No, you're not slackers. You just have a lot going on. Life gets in the way of finishes. Oh, yeah. That can, can, uh, can redeem us. I have like yes, three. Can. <laughs> oh, yay. There you go. Okay, so I've got this one. This is a um a book cover I made, which is actually gonna be uh oh. in my video oh, cute. This week, the book I made. So this is from let's see cross stitcher March 2019, the pattern little unicorn. And then I have these two Christmas Very ornaments I made from my vintage Care Bears uh, book that I got off of Etsy. So these are like vintage 80s patterns. <laughs> I love the 80s. as vintage. Got little hoops for them and everything. So Keep they're all ready Serious flashbacks. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very cute. Well, I actually have a finish. This might be the one and only finish that I ever share um, because I am notorious for not finishing anything. Uh, I started this last week. This was my starts for last week. It's um, the Subversive Cross Stitch Freebie Isolation Update. 
Um, and I, she did Velcro, but I did magnet, <laughs> you know, cause I, I have a problem with magnets. Um, so it's just a sticky magnet. Um, it's the same I use for my, um, my swatches, my little wee stitches, we little stitches project with the swatches. Um, and then, yeah, and you have, she gives the option of other words you can put here like makeup or um, something else. They, she had a bunch of different ones that you can, in, instead of pants, but I just kept it as stitched using the called for DMC. And then I just put a little piece of string that I had in my stash. And then I have a bunch of numbers that I've done and with my sticky magnets on the back. And this is done on 14 count white plastic canvas. So, like it. and it's hang, gonna hang in the background. So when I'm on work calls, they'll have to question whether or not I'm wearing pants or not. So <laughs> Keep that's what I say. There you go. <laughs> so what about starts? I don't have any starts because like I said, I am embarrassed by the number of projects that I have going on. So anybody else have starts this week? I have a start. It will look very familiar because Kelly, it's one of Kelly's whips. <laughs> this is a very small start on America the Beautiful. Nice. Um, because I finally got, remember last week I didn't have any white even weave. Right. Well, we need that problem. So here we go. Yay. I, I have some yellow and I have some green. And this green is supposed to be 704 and it's 703. So I'm probably going to rip it out and <laughs> replace it. I don't. I don't know. I'm thinking about leaving it. We'll see. Just leave it. I mean, it's it's a shade of green. It's yeah. Right. I was looking at Kelly's. I was like, those greens are pretty close. I could probably get away with leaving it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, any no other starts? I, got I started my yet. son cross stitching. I and started course, my husband. My husband started just the other day. Yeah, and of course he picked his own pattern, and we could all guess what it is it's a bap isn't it well of course it is it's like 200 by 165 oh i know what it is he told me what it was the other mm -hmm. is it full yes. coverage it's not full coverage thank god <laughs> <laughs> it is what 15 shades of gray and it's a huge french horn of course because I can't escape the French horn. <laughs> We're going to bury you someday with a French horn. How long has he played? Um, let's see. He's in his second year of college and he has played since fifth grade. Oh, wow. And it was the only instrument when they went into fit for instruments that he even wanted to try. So, wow. and he, what was he great was, what he likes. well, yes, he's a little guy. I mean, he's not a very big kid. He's only five, five, even now at 20 and he maybe weighs 130 pounds. And I'm pretty sure that under Michigan law, he probably could have been in a car seat till he was in junior high, maybe even high school. I mean, he's just a little guy. He's going to love you telling all this. <laughs> I joke about it. So he picks the French horn, which is freaking huge. And he would get other kids, mostly little girls, in his class to carry his instrument out. Now, B is a good, at that point, was a good foot taller than him. She comes out carrying a flute. Nice. Nice. Like so, we do it. <laughs> so, that's awesome. Yeah, that would be my kids. So. Um, what about any um, haul this got week? Starts. What would you say? Got starts. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, Kat. Okay. I got my Thanksgiving. It's on perforated oh, paper. Cute. It's a Mill Hill kit. Oh yeah, that's Apple gobble. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, I got it. If it wasn't beads, I would love it. Yeah, there's a lot of beads. <laughs> and then my other one. Um, I've, I've just done a little bit on it. It's not, I haven't done a lot, but it's going to be a fox. It's called oh, the fox. This is from the, uh, from Stitchy Princess on Etsy. So I liked it. It's very like folk looking kind of simple. And I was like, oh, this will be a nice simple thing for me to do as opposed to the giant kitty melon head. <laughs> 
And I love Fox. Goodness gracious. Um, sweet. Any any other starts? No. Paul. Kelly, you've been you've been dying to share this all day. <laughs> this is the best banner ever. But first, I got a couple other things actually. Things I forgot I ordered finally came in. Yeah, love that. So this one is I love mail like that because I don't know. Me too. This one's from Erica Michaels, and I'm gonna hang this in my law office. And it says nice until proven naughty. <laughs> I think cute. that's absolutely hysterical. Um and then so Plum Street Samplers has a series with wiener dogs. So I have turkey sausage with the two pilgrim <laughs> wiener dogs. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Spring rolls and they have bunny ears. Oh my God. Yellow polka dot bikini. <gasps> and they are wearing oh. swimsuits. Is that not hysterical? That is teeny weeny and there's a little epic. teeny weenie dog on the big wiener dog and then jeans and weenies oh my God. and i already have wiener winter winter wiener land and halloweenies i just found out that they're coming out with two more one is um sweater sweater weather and the little wiener dogs are wearing sweaters and like fall pumpkins and then the other one is ugly sweaters and they're wearing oh. ugly Christmas sweaters and I'm dying. So yeah, I already have all the floss for turkey sausage. So that is hopefully as soon as I get done with the America the Beautiful, that's what I'm going to start. That's hilarious. So that I have decided that I need, okay, he, there's a couple patterns where the skeleton is laying like that. He looks like he's a porn star from the seventies. So I need a Halloween skeleton wall of porn star skeletons. And so I have started my collecting my patterns. Does mm -hmm. he not? I mean, he looks like he should be on a big old rug and just, yeah. Makes me think of that. What is it? Paint me like one of your French girls. Yeah. That's right? <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I had to do that. Um, and then Raven Queen, somebody oh. in the group changed her to Maleficent, mm -hmm. who is my favorite Disney villain. I love Disney. Maleficent is my absolute all-time favorite Disney villain. So that is what she's going to be. That's clever. Yeah, I, I don't have that kind of talent to change her, but they they shared this the change. Okay, so here's actually my next, like my best thing ever. This one probably makes my month. <laughs> Not the election. Yeah, she sent it to us last night. Is this what I'm thinking about? Uh-huh. She sent it to us last night and I was outside on my back porch <laughs> and I just died, like started laughing hysterically. My neighbors were out there. They were probably like, what is this kid doing? I could not stop laughing. It's just the funniest thing I've ever seen. I was on a phone call and told them I needed to hold on for a minute and I had to put myself on mute because I was <laughs> cracking up. She Even is a lawyer to screw things up. No. <laughs> Only a lawyer would have this weird. No, okay. So she is 37 different colors. And she is, let's see, 165 by 200. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Not. So I've that. decided her name is Henrietta. I like that you named her. <laughs> she needed a name. name. I mean, she's Henrietta. I'm dying. She is wearing little red Mary Janes. Little bows in her hair. Right. That is just awesome. The Mary Janes and the bows are what's weird about that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's put this in perspective. It's you know, you know, a it. <laughs> in a no, dress. I, I love the title. <laughs> Dressed monkey on the throne. <laughs> Like, you know, in the 80s, she would have had her own TV show, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So is that, is that based on a, an actual piece of artwork that someone has turned into a cross-stitch pattern? Or did, did they do that specifically for cross-stitch? You don't know? I, don't, I think that there's a series of monkeys. 
Okay. Dress monkeys in the bathroom, which is, but they're not all charted. This is the only one I've seen charted. And it was like five bucks. Like, seriously. That's a pretty deep. It's either five or seven. So I had to get, like, when I saw it, I, I was literally, I had, I, again, I have tears in my eyes laughing at how hysterical this is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, this is everything in 2020 summed right. up in what? Yeah. It is absurd enough. Yeah, if you set the room on fire, then it would be perfect for 2020. <laughs> I, I just, yeah. So I have told my son and my daughter that I'm going to stitch this and hang this in my bathroom. Well, which they both said, no, seriously, you're not going to do that, mom. And I said, oh, but I am. <laughs> and then another friend is like, how much do I have to pay you to make me one for my bathroom too? Oh my God. So apparently I'm stitching Henrietta twice. You're going to have a little cottage industry just stitching up the dressed monkey series. Yeah, so that that was really going to be my next best thing or my best thing for the week. But yeah. That is remarkable. I, I can't wait to get her started. <laughs> are you, you going to start her in the middle or are you going to start her like I don't know uh, I think I'm probably just going to start her in the corner it just seems to make more sense to me as if any of this makes any sense <laughs> in terms of like the the drama and the reveal you got to right. start from the upper left yeah, yeah. how big is it going to be so if I stitch her on 14 count Ada which is what they say to stitch her on she ends up almost 12 inches by 14 and a quarter. So she she's a big girl. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gracious. Well, maybe she she may she may need to be our patronus. Um, <laughs> she may be our, our stitch life mascot. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna post her picture on my bulletin board to remind me that she, Henrietta is going to need attention. I don't think that you're going to have any problem giving Henrietta attention. I think that you're so smitten with her that you will <laughs> never, ever be able to put her down. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Thank you for sharing her with us <laughs> and for everybody else that is viewing this. <laughs> she will not be forgotten. What other hall do, does people have? Does people have? What other hall do you guys have? Oh my god. I have some. Wait. So last week I was embarrassed because I was out of white even weave, so I have remedied that. <laughs> and then I mean, you can't stop there. So I also got some charcoal, which I I don't really have a plan for it, but I just really love this color and I didn't have any, so I bought it. And then I have been um I've been wanting to stitch a pattern by ink circles, like just in any, I just wanted to do one of theirs because I like their style. And mm -hmm. I found this one, um, which is the, uh, it's called Reflections of New Orleans. And it has, um, you kind of have to really look at it, which I kind of dig that you really have to look at it, but it's got like Fleur de Lis, there's crawfish in there, there's a saxophone, there's a trumpet, there's no French horn. Um, I checked. Looks like this maybe is an alligator. I don't know. There's all sorts of little motifs that kind of hidden in there. Um, it's really cool. And uh, so I'm, I bought that. So I'll add that to my one day two stitch stash. Kyle. And it's got a, I think it's got a, a mask too, a carnival mask. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it does. It does. Anyway, I really like it. I've been wanting a New Orleans inspired piece. I'll probably do more than one New Orleans inspired piece, but I'd I really liked it. So that's my haul for this week. Nice. Well, oh, and this all came from um, crossstitchingsupplies.com, which Kat recommended, and it, they were perfect. Love them. Perfect <laughs> transaction from start to finish. Awesome. That's great. Yep. Especially in this time of slow shipping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was not terribly slow. It was, it was average, um, but, you know, the, their communication was good. Their prices were good. No complaints. No, no complaints at all. Nice. Who else has haul they want to share? I have a pattern and, and floss. Well, and I already had the fabric, but 
This is Carolyn Manning. It is called uh, Gingerbread Village. Um, I am doing it. I had to, part of my haul was getting, I had, these are the flosses I had and these are the flosses that I got. I'm doing it on um, the Stitch Me Opal, mm. which I don't, it's not picking up the opalescent, but um, so it's going to be really cute. I'm, I'm excited about it. Um, I got it on Etsy, Cutie Pie Stitch and Sew. And it's, it's actually the, the book and she sent it pretty quick. Nice. Um, but it is so cute. I mean, all these, these awesome houses and they're inside and outside and I'm excited to get started. I, I, I had planned on doing it on a blue fabric and then it was not going to be big enough. So I found this one and it's a 28 count and I'm debating if I want to be brave and do over one or if I'm just going to go ahead and just do over two because I value my sanity and, and my eyesight. <laughs> so we'll see we'll see what I get started with but I'm, I'm hoping I'm going to start it this weekend I think nice keep us posted that's really cool oh, it's got lots of uh, lots of colors so for something so small but it's uh, I really like it I think it's gonna be cute nice anyone else stash 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 ho, 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 ho. I should have stuff next week I just ordered things today so Hopefully. well I'm glad because what I wanted to share that was supposed to be delivered on Monday was delivered to my old address and not to my current address. And that's the second time that this has happened. So hopefully by next week, I'll have it to share. Um, but I do have a couple things I wanna share. First, um, we've been doing some sourcing for all kinds of stuff for the mystery boxes and planning for all of 2021. And um, I, I think some of you guys are in some of these groups too, but um, there's a um, Etsy Murderinos group and I posted on that to um, try and get as much handcrafted or at least handmade um, stuff as I can for all of the boxes. So I met through that group, um, Nasty Woman Craft Company, her name's Lauren. Um, I forget where she's out of, Florida maybe. Um, and I'm not, I, now I know that's not right at all. Um, but she sent me samples of her hand dyed fabric. And this is a 28 count even weave. And it's just such a pretty color red because reds are hard because sometimes they're overpowering and they overpower the pattern, I think. Um, but this is like a, it's almost like a denim red. I don't know how to better describe it, but it's just such a pretty color red. Um, and it has the, you know, the different modelings and stuff. So it, it's definitely a hand dyed. Um, and then this is a 14 count Ada. And this, she said, this is her most popular. It's like a purpley blue. That's pretty. Um, it's, and it has some like pink undertones, lilac undertones. Um, so she, we're definitely gonna be working with Lauren at Nasty Woman um, Craft Co. Um, for at least one of the boxes coming up. So, um, good stuff, good quality. Um, she has really good customer service. She's willing to work to, you know, any kind of color that you might need for the pattern. So, so yeah, Nasty Woman Craft Company. I think she's in Vermont now that I think about it. Um, and then the other thing, I will send a picture so Clay can insert it here. Um, so this is a free sampler that I found through Instagram. Um, it's the 2020 pandemic sampler from a woman named Christy. Um, and her um, Instagram is Sarcy Girl, and that's G-U-R-L. Um, and she's out of Manitoba, I think, Canada. Um, so, and she's adorable. And she just, she created this pattern over the summer. She just finished stitching it and decided to make it available for free for people. So it's actually in the November 11th e-newsletter for VIPs. And if you're signed up to get the free newsletter that is available to everyone, it will, I'm also gonna put it in the November 19th issue of that since that's a bi-weekly publication. Um, she doesn't have a Facebook, she's just on Instagram. She's just getting um, started with her designs and hopefully we'll be able to work with her somewhere sometime in 2021. Um, but she, I asked her to do a pattern for us in 
February for our box, but she's like, I don't feel confident with my patterns yet. So, uh, which is surprising to me because this is, I'm not even a sampler person and I just find this striking. Um, it's just a very pretty and what, once you see the picture that this will all make much more sense. But um, so yeah, so it's Sarcy Girls, S-A-R-C-Y-G-U-R-L on Instagram. And it's a free pandemic sampler. So that is my, my share of the day. And then the other thing I wanted to share that has nothing to do with stitching um, is uh, Kelly actually shared this with me um, and it was on the enablers, I think. Um, I forget what, I'm on so many groups that I forget them all. So I don't know if this is it, but there is a guy named Wolf James who's collecting tea string bags or tea bag, bag strings. strings. Oh my God, what is my problem today? Um, so tea bag strings and it's for some project and I forget what it is. I think the girlfriend is gonna like weave them together and knit a scarf or something like after she dyes them it's very weird I don't really understand it but he's asking for them and whatever I mean better she oh. weave something out of it than they end well, up in a landfill I, I'll hook him up I go through at least three or four of these a day well then he will you will become his best friend because um, he's accepting donations until the 15th of December. And we'll put his mailing address in the notes. Um, and it's tea bag strings, not the bag, not the little hang tag, just the strings. Um, and it's for some artsy project. And we said that, I said that we would share it because it's just so random that it seems to fit really well with just, you know, our vibe. So <laughs> um, information will be down below, but um, you know, if you're a tea drinker or if you just want to go out and buy a box of tea and just take it all apart and send him the strings, I think he'd be fine with that too. Um, he did not, he did not specify that it had to be actually used tea bag strings so um and they'll mail really easily you know because they're light and stringy um any other things for the good of the order today no i have one. <laughs> oh no <laughs> i know no it's really it's not as, as weird as it may seem um i am a member of the medtronic global hero team which is they've actually discontinued the program but we're still a group and so we are all people who have faced medical challenges and have um, Medtronic devices installed in us. Um, many of the members of the running team have ICDs, so internal heart defibrillators. One of our global heroes is um, now in need of a heart. So if you are not um, on your license, a registered organ donor, I just want to urge everybody to just click that box. It's something you can't take them with you when you're gone. Um, yep. But you could probably save somebody's life. Or many people's lives. Right. So that is wonderful. Yes. Yeah. It's also important to make sure that your loved ones know your feelings on that because sometimes they're the ones that make the call. Yep. So another thing that you can do. And it's an and awkward conversation, but it's an important one. Very awkward, but it's also, you know, a living will and those kinds of things. I mean, as a, as a family lawyer, you deal with that stuff all the time, Kelly. So um, you're a better person to speak to it. But um, that is, you know, I, I think that that's a great good of the order and it's for the good of society. So thank you for sharing that. And um, it's a quick box check. And uh, when you get your license renewed, and I think you can do it after the fact too. Yes. Um, so it's not something that you have to wait for um, if your driver's license is not yet expired. So thank you, Kelly, for sharing that. And that's a cool group that you're part of. Not that, you, I mean, not that you're, that's something that, it's a kind of group that you <laughs> really want to be a part of, but I mean, it's a good group. So I'm going to stop talking. Um, so, <laughs> before I dig myself a really more embarrassing hole. Um, you guys, thank you for a great evening. And I hope everyone has enjoyed this happy hour. Um, be sure to subscribe to our channel 
And um, on the 15th of November, which is a couple days from now, um, we are going to open up um, orders for non-VIPs for our mystery box. Um, the quantities are limited. We sold quite a number of them um, during pre-order and pre-order isn't quite over yet. So um, if you're interested and you're a VIP, grab it before it goes open. Um, and then if you're watching this after the 15th of November, um, head over to our website or to any of our socials. Um, we'll also put a link below. Um, next, well, we'll figure it out. We'll add it actually after the 15th. How about that? So we'll add a link for purchasing the mystery boxes um, that is open to everyone below after the 15th or on the 15th or whatever. Um, so they're going to be super cool. Like I said earlier, we are, we actually have an artist who is doing a commissioned piece for us that we will then, um, translate into a pattern. And it's an artist that has gone very viral lately. And, uh, because the art that she has created is just, was very fitting for where we were in society. So um, regarding the elections. And it's just, it struck me. And luckily she, her name's Angie King and she is lovely and she's going to be working with us. So this is going to be something that is commissioned just for Stitch Life. It is only um, going to be available. The pattern will only be available in the mystery box, um, at least for the first six months. We may open it up for purchase for other people after that. Um, and there will be other fun things that go along with that artwork that are in that box as well. So just, I'm getting chills thinking about it because I'm, I just feel like it's such a great get. <laughs> if you're in the PR business, you understand what that means, but it's, it's all about like just being able to partner with someone who is really incredibly talented as well as, um, expressing emotions and feelings in a really dramatic way. So I'm super excited about it. Um, I will reveal her Instagram once everything is buttoned up with her, but it's going to be super exciting. And that's going to be in the um, start fresh for 2021 mystery box, which will be sent at the end of December. So I'm absolutely going to stop talking now. And I wish everyone a wonderful evening, a wonderful weekend, and we can't wait to talk to you again. Thanks for, thanks Bye. for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.